Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to B and D Live, the Dungeons and Dragons live stream, where a group of high school friends attempts to play Dungeons and Dragons remotely via the internet. With us, as always, we have Stephen as Drom the Sorcerer, Tim as Vinny the Rogue, Aaron as Lily the Fighter, and Nicole as Sir Pen the Paladin. Uh, I'm Sean, your faithful and humble DM, and this is B and D Live. Let's do a little recap since we haven't seen the the northern group, the Wesleyville Wanderers. Is that is that official? Is that your official mm, name? I mean, that's just what you were calling us. I don't know if that I don't know if that's what we've called ourselves, but whatever, it's fine. All right. So you Still have like the BTM, but yeah. what's the that? BTM? The BTM. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. It's pretty good. Um, the BTM, B BTM, BTM. Uh, it was the Paul. It was the Paul evening. Uh, you were to recap. You're trekking across the uh, frozen uh, mountains in the far northeast of Centralia. Uh, you had some hot yeti for dinner, and a bit of a shelter was made. Uh, the next morning, a storm continued until lunch. Uh, you got your bearings after the storm had lifted, uh, and when you camped uh, again for that night, you enjoyed some more hot yeti. Uh, however, the watch was interrupted by two frost giants, uh, frost giant brothers, um, and a battle ensues. Vinny goes down. Blood is shed on both sides, but eventually both giants are felled in good time. One by Aridin, one by Lily. And you find some bone necklaces and weather the night unharmed. So you should all have the benefits of a long rest if you haven't already. And as the morning of De Gaulle dawns, you awaken to beautiful weather. Beautiful blue sky after the storms of the previous days, crystal clear. Um, even, even the bitter cold winds have died down. And uh, yeah, it's just a great day for some hiking. Um, uh, are there, is there anything you want to do before setting off uh, on the trail for the day? Was um, was Lily kind of mapping out there? Was she writing a journal? I definitely remember her writing down symbols in the original cave, but maybe she's drawing some landscape since she's got a clear view of uh, her surroundings. Oh, sure, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can dig it. She's practicing some cartography. Oh, oh you're making a match? Oh. No, but at least to get it. She's been on so many travels now. She wants to start, like, journaling. She wants to, you know, That's cool. make a memoir. Oh, oh we're, we're, uh, um, we're all standing together or sitting around a fire or our tent or something, right? We're getting ready to go. Yeah. Perhaps you made a shelter out of frost giant bodies. I don't know, sure. but um, you are, you are, it is the morning. That's correct. And there's, yes. there's snow out everywhere, right? Oh, yes. Okay. I'm going to have a snowball fight. I'm going to go stand. Um, well, I'm not going to go stand anywhere. I'm going to cast Mage Hand and make a snowball. Can I do this? Can I give a snowball to Mage Hand sneakily? Sure. And then move it behind um, Drom, and then you throw it at Sir Pen. As if it was coming <laughs> from Drom's direction. Yes. Got it. All right. Uh, give me a 
So you're trying to do this without anyone noticing. Try and give me yes. a stealth check. No problem. Stealth check. 21. Wow. <laughs> it um, sounds like everything's exploding. Give me... So you're trying to hit your pen? Yes. Give me a... Athletics or acrobatics, your choice. All right. It will be acrobatics. I got a 20 dice now. 18. 18. Uh, what is your armor class, Sir Pen? My armor? No, no, Sir Pen. Six, 16. Yeah, so um, you guys are, you know, having some breakfast, sort of getting, getting your things put together, getting ready to get on the road, get on the trail. And Sir Pen, poof, you're hit with a snowball. Uh, give me a perception check, Sir Pen, if you would. Nine. Nine. Drum threw a snowball at you. <laughs> hey, Drum. Hmm. What's going on here? Uh, snowball fight. <laughs> I throw another <laughs> snowball at him. I'm not, I, I don't understand. Another. I knew it. So I am from a very warm... Uh, watery area. What is this snowball fight? Ah, uh, uh, it's when you take uh, the snow and pack it into a ball like that, and then, um, well, like for an example, I throw another snowball at him. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? Oh my god! Snowball fight. All right. So I start picking up the snow. Okay. And it's like, and it's just like falling back in my face. <laughs> He's patting it too fast, and it's just slurring all Oh, over. he's never made a snowball. <laughs> Amazing. I love everything about this. How do you do this? You <laughs> magicians? All right, well, this maybe... Dark magic. I shouldn't have thrown you in the deep end. Maybe you practice that, and when you're ready, you uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll fight. <laughs> How many years of magician studying does this take? <laughs> uh... Uh... Probably, well, I've been doing it for like, what, two and a half decades, so. It's a lot of snowballing. You're a little behind, but. I will, I will make an effort to learn. <laughs> um, what, are you doing, what are you doing during all of this exchange, Vinny? I'm just watching. Chuckling to yourself? Yes. Instigator. I'm pleased. Uh, can I cast Mage Hand again? And give it a snowball and just drop it on top of Drom's head from above. Sure, I love it. Easily done. Drom, you get hit in the head with a snowball. It, from the? from above. <laughs> huh. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, when it happened, I probably would have thunderclapped. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh a nervous part. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. <laughs> you, you totally would have. All right, don't surprise drop. <laughs> I I remember that from Wesleyville. Um, yeah, go ahead. Boom. Um, actually, oh, we all gotta make uh, saving throws. Thanks a lot. Uh, con fifteen. <sighs> What's the distance of it? Oh, uh, just five feet. You can hear it from up to 100. Feet. Up to 100. Okay. All right. So I don't know. It might. Um, no one may need to take a saving throw unless anyone's right next to me. Yeah, I don't think anyone's directly next to you. Um, Aridin definitely sort of jolts, and then he's like, he like looks up and he's like, "What was that? Why did you do that?" <laughs> and he says, and he's like. And you listen, and you hear a rumbling noise from the bluffs above you. Oh. We've got to get to shelter. <laughs> and he starts, he starts running. Uh, the path is very icy. Uh, it's, you know, it's snow, but he, he, he sort of motions to you guys, and he tries to get you over near toward a large clump of rocks. Come on, guys, um, before they throw more snowballs. Uh-oh. Um, I says, need to know if I have a shield. He says, 
I think, and he sort of points up, and, and you, you look up at the bluff above you, and it's an interesting sight. It kind of looks like the mountain is shimmering a little bit, um, but you can sort of feel in the ground this rumbling noise, and you can hear it getting louder. And he's like, a large amount of snow is about to fall on us, but after it does... We'll try to stay our ground. We're all tied together, yes? Are we all tied together? Let's tie. Let's make sure we're all tied together. Um, afterwards, you may not be able to tell which direction is up. That's okay. Just sort of push the snow away from your mouth, spit a little, see which way it rolls. That's the down. You want to go up. Everybody ready for this? No! Oh, Does anyone have any magic that could perhaps help in this situation? Firebolt! You hear, you hear, you hear the, the rumbling is just getting louder and louder, and you see this uh, side of up here. I'm casting Absorb Elements on myself. <laughs> just in right. case. Try to stay as near to this rock face as you can. Oh, can I do um, Alter Self? Why don't you have Agnes when you need her? I know, um, because my Lehman's <laughs> tiny hut. <laughs> uh, what would you like to alter yourself? What would you like to do? Um, I mean, I don't think that it would work. It's just aquatic adaptation for breathing purposes and natural weapons. So maybe I could grow claws, fangs, spines, or horns to maybe help claw my way out. I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you're welcome to cast anything you want. All right. Um, I <laughs> Will absorb elements actually help here? When you take acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder damage, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna at least do absorb elements, and then I guess I'll worry about the rest. Absorb elements, okay. And it's just, you don't have to specify. It's just yeah. All right. Anyone else doing anything before this avalanche hits you? I don't know. You think a fireball will help? Yeah, some fire might help. What would you like to do? Shoot it at the mountain. One sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Oh, by the way, did you have to do a wild magic for the thunder clap? Uh, That's a cantrip, can right? I don't think, right? Oh, no, no, cantrip, no. I love how there's actual avalanche mechanics for D&D. This is great. <laughs> An avalanche can be spotted from as far away as 1d10 times 500 feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's pretty big. And it's a crystal clear day. Yeah, it is a crystal clear day. And this is, this is coming. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's cast a fireball at the leading edge of it when it's quite close to us. When it's quite close. Okay, so you're holding that ready. I love it. I guess it has a range of 150 feet, so let's say somewhere around that. Oh, you want it so far cool. enough away from us. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to hurt us. <laughs> maybe 50 feet away. It's a 20-foot range. So maybe when it's 50-ish feet. Sure, I love it. Um, okay, all right, here it comes. Uh, this is great. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, um, you sort of you, you, you Aridin's sort of you know you're, you're sort of crouched near these rocks. Um, actually, let me roll one more thing. No. Okay. Uh, you're crashing the rocks. You're roped together. Uh, you're making yourselves as small as possible. And you see this wall of white moving towards you. Uh, Drum, you let loose your fireball. As it's, even as it's growing, it is being overtaken. And, it, and then... Uh, I would like to you all to give me uh, dexterity saves. Oh boy. Ooh, that's a good one for me. Oh, thank goodness. 15? 15? 22. 10. 26. Wow, so no one rolled lower than a 15. No, 10. Oh, so Penn got a 10. Sir Penn. Oh, oops. Sorry, sir. It was a strong 10. Hold on one second while I calculate damage. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I love that a snowball fight turned into this. It's so good. Good thing we'll never know who started it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
have bludgeoning damage. That's great. Okay, hold on one second. Sorry, sorry. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Just let me roll dice. Mm. That's a lot of... Sure, I'll assume this person just done their research and just use their numbers. Boom, roll it. All right. Okay, so, uh, Sir Pen, as the, the, the weight of the snow sort of presses into you, uh, your, your side bangs up against another one of the rocks, uh, you're going to take 37 bludgeoning damage. What? And the rest of you are going to take half that. So call it uh, 18. Now, um, is this any... No, this is bludgeoning, not cold? This is bludgeoning. I don't want to... I'm say to cold. 37 divided by... Steven. Drum, give me... Roll... Roll... Roll a d12. Roll, roll a d12 and add 4. This is, this this is sort of on the yep. okay. this, this is the fireball lessening damage because there's more snow behind it because that's the problem, right? Like the fireball may like melt some of the snow, but it's not like there's no snow behind oh, it, right? Yeah. <laughs> so add four, so 13. 13, okay. So subtract 13 from that. Okay, so so those of you who have passed the save, so you're only going to take three damage. That's great. This, this is oh. great. Oh. And then, and then uh, Sir Pen, you're going to take... 24 instead of the 37. Sorry if you have to undo some oh. of that. So you're only going to take 24. All right, healing again. <laughs> can can I uncannily dodge that three damage? If you want to, yes. Yes! So now it's one or two? One so and a half. It'd be one, yeah. Probably two, I guess. I don't know. Oh, does it round up? I don't know. I don't, I'm honestly I'm not sure. I always it. thought it always rounded up. For anything that's against you, it rounds yeah. up. Anything that's for you rounds down. Yeah, I'll take two. I think you're probably right. I can do two. All right. Save a damage there. Perfect. Um, now, here's the exciting part. Uh, buried characters take 1d6 points of non-lethal damage per minute. If a buried character falls unconscious, blah, blah, blah. But I don't think that's going to be a case. Um, let's see. So give me... Give me a survival check. That's a good check for this. Mm. Each of you give me a survival check to see if you can see which direction is up. Oh, All and right. I, have to, I have to roll for Aridin. Aridin passes mm -hmm. his check. So then he takes three damage. Three. Three. Yeah, Sir Penn, the, 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 the impact of the snow smashing into the ground sort of knocked the wind out of you, but also like really disoriented you. Um, mm -hmm. you're not sure which way is up. Um, do you remember what Aridin said? I uh, spit something out of my mouth and see which direction it goes. All right. What, what other saves do people have? I have 13. All right. D2. What is it? 22. 22. Oh, or D2. I got a six. Six. All right. Uh, yeah. So give me... Uh, with the warning, Vinny and Serpen, give me wisdom saves with advantage. Ooh, wisdom. Not my finest. Oh, I just do it twice? Yeah, yeah. You can also right click, I believe, and set it to, but yeah, twice is just. Oh, it. oh, I didn't even know that. Okay. 17. All right. You're good. 23. All right. Uh, you all, you know, you, you, you feel some tugs from the rope here or there. Um, you, uh, you write yourselves. You sort of claw and dig your way out. And you, one by one, poof, 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 your, your heads pop out in the freshly snowed landscape of the, uh, <laughs> the avalanche. Ah, well, all right. Everyone accounted for? Nice brisk morning. Nothing, uh, nothing we can't handle. Anyone too hurt? Sir Pen, look a little worse for the wear there. I I'll lost my map. Oh. 
white paper and a and a fresh avalanche. Yeah, I think that's gone. Sorry about that. Um, it's not your that, fault. That loud noise uh, could that be? I don't know. Avoided in the future. <laughs> I roll my eyes. Did you have to do a wild magic for the fireball? That one you had to. Draw. Wait, oh, sorry, what was the question? Uh, fireball. Wild magic. Oh, I did. Yeah. Okay. I All right. Passed. All right. Well, I think, uh, I think we're all together. Luckily, that happened at the end of packing up, so I think all our stuff is probably still accounted for, for the most part, other than Lily's map. Sorry, Lily. You know, next time you, I, I can, uh, I'm, I've, I'm quite the traveler. I could help you, I could help you get some of the details. Um, it's a good thing to have a map. Speaking of which, let's begin the day's journey. All right, uh, go ahead. Who wants to roll a d20? Sure. Four. That's good, right? Yetis. Feels good. Yet again. Four. A four. All right, all right. That's very interesting. Um, there are no wolves. You guys. I'm, I'm actually prepared for this, although not quite fully. All right. Um, uh, you start hiking. So again, this counts as difficult terrain. So at a normal pace, you're probably looking at 12 miles a day. Um, but it is beautiful weather, so it's fairly easy today. Um, even though you're walking through some fresh snow at the beginning of it. Um, da -da 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 -da. If only I had a large enough shield that I could just sit on and slide. Mm. Oh, Are we going downhill? That's the yeah. classic. Or I mean, some, sometimes yes, sometimes no. It depends. What is going on with this? How is it that I don't have a shield? I can make a minor illusion. I feel like I should shield. be able to use my breastplate. <laughs> oh, fascinating. What is going on? What am I doing? It, this will make sense, maybe, eventually. I might just have to punt. All right, anyway, uh, you continue. Yeah, this is just... What is this? <laughs> this is so weird. I don't understand what this is. Does this come off? All right. Anyway, uh, you can. T <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it's so dumb. I was not prepared for this. I'm sorry. Um, you keep going. And, um. Actually, who has the highest pass passive perception? I think that, I want to say it's Lily or maybe Sir Penn. No, I think it's, it's uh, Vinny. Is passive? it really? Passive perception or uh, 17? Yeah, I'm only 15. All right. Agnes is like 19 or something like that. Well, maybe she's, maybe she's. I'm 12. What is that? My 12? elf eyes are watching. Yeah. All right. I do not know what I'm doing. Um, at some point, you uh, see a little off in the distance a, uh, again, well camouflaged, um, sort of white and black. Not sure if it's shadows at first, um, but Vinny, you see a, a large creature. Uh, just a little off to sort of where your current trajectory is. Um, sort of like shuffling around in the snow. It looks like it almost is looking for something. Yo, I see a snow shuffler. It's over there. What, where, where are you, what? Oh. Yeah. Oh, hmm. Yes, um. We Can seem we eat to that? be, we seem to be, Wait, what's the good one? Upwind or downwind? If you're downwind of something? You're, if you're downwind, then they're not going to smell you. Then they're not going to smell you. Right. 
Yes, we seem to be downwind of it. That's good. Uh, have you ever fought an owl bear before? An owl bear. Mm. Yes, part owl, part bear. Ooh. Quite large and disagreeable most of the time. They can be mm. tamed if given enough time and care. I have. I known, want to tame one. I have known rangers. Well, this perhaps is not the location to do it. Uh, you could try to engage with it, but uh, I don't think we have the necessary supplies and. We do I have, have yeti, yeti blubber. Meat. You do have yeti blubber. And I can speak with animals. Well, if you'd care to uh, to try your luck. Mm. Can we just skirt around it? or is We that... could probably also skirt around it, yes. It's up to you. I mean, I've always wanted a pet other than my cat. Yes, an owlbear is more of a partner if it accepts you than a pet. Oh. It'd be quite is the... it more like a bear size or an owl size? It's a it's like a bear with an owl face. It's it's big. It is it is it is big. Does it hoot? Um uh, it sorta of hoots, sorta of growls. It's, it's it doesn't a... fly though, right? It does not fly, no. But it has flappy wings. I no, can. it's not a moonkin. No, oh. No, it's it's like a bear with feathers and an owl face. Hmm. Yeah, it looks a uh, looks a little something like this right here. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, I think we could eat him. No, I don't want to eat him. I want him as my my friend mm. or partner. What does that mean? Like I want an Azeroth or as 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 Azer- Astroth. 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 That's all Lily's thinking about. She wants her own Astroth. That's totally understood. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, with enough time, food, and luck, you can tame them. Yeah, but I don't want to live here. Well, you would. Um... I mean, it does. He sort of looks around. It does seem to be on its own can't really tell by looking at it from this far away whether it's young or adult. You have a better chance if it's a young one. Let's go to a library. You can't bring it into a library. Well, uh, you would say something like that about Mr. Bones, maybe. He would just go in the library. And Mr. Bones just does whatever he wants. I mean, I've seen books about anatomy. I've even known people to race owlbears, but they are... You can bet on the race, or you can bet on whether the owlbear will eat its rider. I'll what do you think? It. Shall we shall we avoid it, or would you like to engage? The the blubber and the meat is a good way to uh, encounter it. Um. Well, Sir Pen, if you don't mind trying to talk with it, I can take out some meat and blubber, and uh, maybe we can get it to. Uh, be our friend-ish? I, uh, your... I think we'll go with that plan, yeah. What's the uh, nature of your ability to speak with animals? Um, I think I can only communicate, like I can't, hold on, what do I tell you? It's like you ideas? Gain, you gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with them for the duration. The knowledge and awareness of many beasts is limited by their intelligence. You might be able to persuade a beast to perform a small favor for you at the GM's discretion. All right. Hello. So I'm going to go spell, ahead. And, this is yeah. a spell speak with animals? Yeah. Fascinating. I love it. Hello, Alavar. <laughs> All um, right. So we. Oh, oh no. Go, yeah, go well, ahead. has got ahead. like a nice choice piece of meat All in right, our so, hand. So you get a little closer. Okay. Go on. Nice choice piece hello, of meat. Hello, Alavar. We are friendly journey men and women and other things that are. Um, going across the mountains in peace, we have some uh, yeti food, uh, yeti blubber. If you would like to eat some, um, please do not eat us. You gotta hoot that. Ooh. <laughs> All right. um, is either one of you proficient in animal handling? Oh, let's see. No, animal husbandry? No. no animal <laughs> handling. Not proficient. Not proficient. What about yeah. you, Sir Pen? Are you proficient? I'm 
Do you have uh, a filled in think... circle? Filled in circle? Where would that be? No, he's under... got plus two. Yeah, I have a plus one. He has a plus two. Oh, there. Yeah, I have a plus two. <laughs> All right. Well, between the talk with animals, the meat, go ahead and whoever has the plus two, that was the higher? That's me, I guess. All right. Go ahead and roll with advantage. 15. And roll with advantage. So oh. you roll twice. I'll do it again. Higher. Ah, 15. Okay. All right. Now, I had bought this because I knew that this was one of the encounters that could happen, but I can't for the life of me. This is a D20 that somehow transforms into an owlbear. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, how hard could it be? Uh, it's surprisingly difficult. I don't know why... Like it's like it's got directions. Is it able to put back together or to? I'm trying to transform it into an owl bear. I'm so <laughs> Wait, proud of like myself. It. Is it I not mean, an owl bear? I don't know what. Well, I, what like why is this piece stick up over here? Like what is <laughs> even like in his head? That's how. It, that's how these things are sometimes. There's no room. No, it's supposed to look like this at the end. Can you? So does the head go forward and you put that piece behind the head? And then you put the head back into place? I don't know. Look, look at this thing. This is like... The piece... This goes with this. I don't want to force it. It seems to be attached... No, I don't know what's going on. It doesn't make any sense. Does this whole thing rotate? It says 180. That's not like super helpful, dude. 180. What does that mean? Yeah, which way do you rotate it? Do you rotate it like opposite of each other or towards each other or away from each other? Oh, I'm supposed to do this? No. And the crazy thing is like the arms are like coming out of its butt. Like this is this whole thing maybe rotates around? Maybe that's what they mean by oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Now we're cooking with gas. Now we're cooking with gas. And then this whole thing rotates up. Oh yes, 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 oh, look at yeah. this. This is looking good. Oh yeah, oh, much better. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. And now its arms are coming out of its top, which makes sense. Because that's where arms come out of. Arms don't usually come out of your butt. Unless uh, you're an and, it's, and it's got some like it's got some like wingalings here. It's got some wingalings coming out of its back there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna call that good enough. Look, it's an owlbear. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> Seemed like a good idea when I bought it. And yes, this is from the new movie. <laughs> All right, there's a giant owlbear. Very exciting. Um, it is not attacking, and it is cautiously approaching you, Lily. And you're holding out a slab of meat? Yes. I think I have meat in one hand, and, well, it's. I think it's a, a fairly large piece of meat, so I probably have it, like, it's, like, kind of dripping, over, like, hanging partially off my hand. Right. No. Uh, with one very quick movement, whoosh, it grabs. You couldn't see that at all because of my hand. Whatever. With a very quick movement, it grabs uh, the meat off and sort of like shoves it, shoves it in its beak and sort of backs off a little, uh, back to the side while it like chomps down on it. Uh, all right, you've got its attention. What's your next move? Um, ask or uh, I'll ask uh, Sir Pen if uh, he'd like to ask it if it would like blubber as well like more fatty portion of meat sure i will ask um kind owlbear would you be interested in some of this yeti blubber just shake your head yes if you'd like to eat it yeah let's see yeah. what does it say yeah. does it know how to shake its head yes <laughs> Well, it said it could understand if it's a smart animal. We can understand some stuff. Owls are pretty smart. Yes. 
Bear is not so smart. <laughs> That's why they like cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I did not see that movie, but <laughs> first double divination. Ten see. minutes. Really communicating, yeah, the knowledge and awareness and Um Yeah, it doesn't seem interested in the blubber. Okay. Doesn't? Does not. Oh. Hmm. I'm surprised. You're surprised by that. Yeah. Well, I mean, blubber is fat, so it might give some taste, but it's really not nutrient. I just figured if there's food, Albert's going to eat it. I mean, you just gave it a big piece of meat. Yeah. Yeah. That's which fine. Is, we which it did seem to enjoy. Okay. Uh, how do we adopt it now? Yeah. Sure. Would you like to join our party and we can hunt together? So, Sir Penn, can you uh, translate that for the owlbear? Eh? Join the party and hunt together? Come stay with us. We don't need to eat as much as, you know. <laughs> and we will hunt together. Give me a... Uh... Give me a persuasion check this time. Oh, here it comes. Oh, nine. It was about to be a 16. It looks at you questioningly. Um, it's not, it's not doing anything aggressive. It's just sort of like finishing the meat looking at you guys. What can I do? He's thinking about the second course. <laughs> I mean, uh, give me an insight check. Insight into an owlbear. Which may need to be a disadvantage, 12. but you have speak with animals, so that's fine. Um, no, I have an 12. You get the feeling that it is not thinking about attacking you. It's thinking about whether you can be trusted. Oh. Can I, I don't know hug? what I can do to make it feel as though it would trust me. Why don't you give it a hug? No, don't give I will give it another piece of, of uh, not as not as large, but still a decent piece if we have it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're using okay. Um Drom or Vinny, while these guys are doing this, can you guys give me um, give me investigation checks? One. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, I, I also got a one, but I had a plus six. <laughs> okay. All right, fair enough. Well, I got a two, but I had a minus one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's white. There's a lot of snow around. Um, all right, so you, you toss it another piece, or you hold it out? Uh, I probably hold it out again. Okay. Um, give me an investigation check. Um... Also a one. That's hilarious. Plus two. Oh three. my goodness. You know, I'm just so enthralled by <laughs> yeah. this owl bear. I have no other cares except for trying to get this owl bear. <sighs> it's not coming for the second piece. Mm. Okay. So I guess I put it away. <laughs> All right. Things are pretty cold here, so. Yeah. Um, I don't know what else. Like, I don't have the types of things that Agnes has to try to, like, entice people into listening, you know, like, no music or. Sure. Um, but maybe could I maybe, like, sing something that I remember Agnes doing at some point, like one of her songs, like a nicer song, <laughs> not like one of the drinking songs. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You want to sing a song? So yeah, I try. I try to um, channel my inner Agnes. I love it. 
Give me and, a little, uh, give me a little uh, I don't know, what, performance check for that? Yeah, it's only a plus one, but let's see. Yeah, that'll be a five. I don't know how to sing very well. Or I just don't remember the words. What do your companions <laughs> think about this? Is it a humanoid? It is not a humanoid, no. All right. All right. Can't cast Charm Person on it. No. No. Oh, okay. it is a, technically, it is a large monstrosity. <laughs> I could cast Disguise Self and look like uh, an owl bear myself. I mean, I feel like you, you've got a person who can talk to it. Yeah. It might be... I do have a shield. I didn't realize it. I do have a shield. Okay. It's the uh, king shield. I'm so using that to sled down at some point. Oh, nice. Um, can I can I show it uh, the carved bone necklace from the uh, frost giant? I have one, and I think Drum has the other. Or no, Drum has both. Or oh, Drum, you have both necklaces. Never mind. I don't have it. I just wrote it down here. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sean, are you suggesting we we talk more to it? I, I'm just saying you have a person who's cast a spell that lasts for 10 minutes. Yeah. Friend? <laughs> Could I offer it um, my Noel bead necklace? I guess you can comprehend. So you could, you could, you could actually, yeah. Okay. Um, like, so wait, you're offering a Noel bead necklace? Yeah. I don't know. I'm thinking if it doesn't want food, maybe it wants something nice, like a yeah, gift. Yeah, yeah. So you, you hold this out to it? I hold out the Noel bead necklace, yes. Um, and it's sort of like... <sighs> um, I'm going to give you some owl pellets. Which would probably only fit around its its you know paw, but it wouldn't be a necklace for it. Serpent... Um, because you can comprehend it. It says you can comp you, you gain the Wait. ability to comprehend. Um, it says, what does it say? It says, oh yeah, I can't comp smell like enemy. But we are not enemies. We are friends. Who's the enemy? Ross Giants. Ross Giants? Large Giants. Oh. Drum. They're gone. No, oh, no, no. I'm a, I'm, I'm oh. a small giant. They're oh. here. No, Drum, show him the necklaces. Oh. Man. That sort of like takes a step back. We, we defeated them. He looks to Nicole, we, we or he looks them. to Serpent. We defeated them. They attacked us. Giant dead? Yes, two. Hmm. Where you go? The library? We don't know what he's saying. <laughs> towards, towards the sunset. Oh, sorry. I will, if, if, if I will follow. Yeah. Be our pet. No, not a pet. Partner. <laughs> Partner. All right. Uh, you guys, Aaron is like, what's going on? We made a buddy. All Can, right. Would that necklace be large enough to give to the owl bear to wear? Because there's two of them. Oh, it would definitely but, be big enough. It was big enough for a frost giant. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just one with the why, why am I giving away the necklaces? No, oh, yeah, I don't you, you should hang on to them. <laughs> you should keep those. I figured that would be kind of like a a, a, a gift of trust or something like that. Albert like, didn't defeat those giants. We did. It's like a friendship bracelet. Mm -hmm. We have one. It's he has one. Bracelet. Hey, right. uh, Pen, can you see if this owlbear goes by a particular name? 
what it calls itself? My friend, my friend Owlbear, can, can we call you something else besides Owlbear? Do you know my oh. name? Owlbob. Hmm. Oh gosh! As I bring out my Alvar name generator, no. Um. <laughs> mm. Mm. None of these are right. Pooh Bear, Birdie Bob, Pooh Bear, Austin, 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 Booty Bear, Austin. We will refer to you as Austin. Mm, Austin. 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 Oh boy. Austin. Get his name right. Austin. O S T I D is what I'm, is what I'm reading here. Oh, okay. now, did the owlbear pronounce that in Alberese? Like, did everyone understand it, or did only certain? I, I, I mean, I think you heard a you heard a you know a two syllables. Uh, yeah, I think I think. Who who? Uh, Austin. As far as I know, that's its name. <laughs> um, all right, you guys have acquired a Alvar companion. All right, which is pretty That's awesome. Muscle. Um, you continue. It's a beautiful day. Uh, you continue uh, another twelve miles down. Um, uh, so this is probably just a little after lunch or so. So yeah, so toward the evening. Austin, which who I'll figure out how to fold his arms at some point. <laughs> That's the craziest thing. Look at his face. Look at that face. <laughs> Lily is completely like overwhelmed with all of this, and she's yeah. just like so focused on Austin. Like she's walking right next to him, as close as you know, he'll let her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She uh, wants you... to keep going up to pet him, but then mm -hmm. kind of like, oh, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, no, uh, and Austin usually walks on all fours, but sometimes, sometimes gets up to... Uh, but you do notice, paying so close attention that you are now, and with the longer period of time, no role necessary, you do see a sort of large scar, uh, where, where and, and the way it presents itself is there are some sort of feathers... That are not there on its on its chest, uh, as if something raked across its chest uh, at some point in its life, uh, but it is healed. Um, and so yeah, you guys continue uh, into the evening, uh, the direction that the sun sets. I love that, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Sir Fan, take inspiration for that. That, that was very that's a good way to talk to an animal. Wait, take inspiration. What does that mean? Uh, there's a checkbox at the top right that you can check. And it, Next to your heal damage, and it says inspiration. Oh. And at any time, if you roll a d20 and you don't like the result, you can cash that in to roll it again. Oh. I think I have it because I never did. That's very cool. I've never had an inspiration before. Good work. I feel like I should yeah. give them out more, but yeah, no, that was good. That was that was good. Well, we never use them because we're always afraid that we'll never. I know, I know. I should be, I should be more liberal with them, and you guys should use them more. It's, it's a, it's a two-way or it's a, it's a team them. effort. It's all right. Um, all right. Like we have them. Yeah, I don't know. Any, any. What is? Uh, how does this? How does this arrange the evening? How does this arrangement change the evening's activities? We all snuggle around. <laughs> like Owlbear. Owlbear, he keeps us warm. Yeah. He turns back into a dice. No. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his back. There's like numbers. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Hilarious. I think that Lily is going to be so happy about this that she's got to call like everyone she knows. Oh, <laughs> fascinating. You don't have to do the conversation, but sure. Wherever it lands in time. It's... Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I'll make a note and we'll figure it out. And maybe at that time, Agnes will catch her up with whatever's happening on their end. Austin the Owlbear. Um, yeah, Lily, Lily calls everyone else. 
It's like, so, oh my God, oh, dad, guess, what? Who, who, who are you telling? Who are you telling? Let's, let's write that down. We can figure it I'm out. I'm telling later. my dad, because yeah, I probably yeah. have to check in with him on a regular basis. That makes sense. I'm definitely telling um, Agnes. Agnes. But those would be the only two that I would probably talk to regularly. All right. Because although she has the so sending noted. stone with everybody else on the ATM or right. ATM, I think she would only be talking with Agnes. Yeah, that makes sense. I'd buy that. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you setting a watch for the night? Of course we are. Owlbear, your first watch. Uh. Well, Lily will also take first watch with the owlbear. All right. Just, she wants to be his best bud. Like, owlbear literally. know how to do a watch? The owlbear falls asleep immediately. <laughs> <laughs> now, unless say... unless you cast speak with animals, if you want to cast speak with animals again, I, I don't know. I don't know how many times you want to cast that, but clearly could the ten the, minutes are up. Could the owlbear understand <laughs> basic things like, like hand motions yeah, or I mean, like we call it austed yeah definitely so our names. it it will respond to its name uh and you can like you can train owlbears right like that they you can train them they can become a mount you know you could you could ride on it um that that totally exists within the D, &D universe um um Aridan has some 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 tips and tricks he's never done it himself personally uh, but Lily, throughout the day, as you're sort of walking, he's like, you know, telling you what he's seen work better than other things. Like, yeah, like never approach her from behind. You know, open hands are good. Uh, you know, food's always good if you want to start an interaction with it. He's giving you some sort of tips, you know, tips and tricks, but he's never done it himself. Um, but uh, he is proficient in animal handling, so he could probably give you advantage on any checks that you need to do. Right. Uh, but Because eventually she's going to want to find, like, a place where the the owl bear likes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. getting scratched, like behind the ear or something. Sure, sure. Owl bears have ears. <laughs> yeah, no, you can. Uh... <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, no, for sure. Um, yeah, so it's sort of it's sort of like gets comfortable as the as the sun is going down, and as you guys presumably have given it some meat, uh, although presumably uncooked meat because I don't, I don't think it necessarily well i mean we could always do something right before we go to bed because we'll get a full night so if you want to spend another uh spell slot sir pen to talk with owlbear to say do you sure. want your meat cooked I or raw he, he thought you fell asleep oh yeah oh, no, we, we, we can rewind a little and say you if you want if you want to do speak with animals again and then if the owlbear can stay up for a watch with one of us or something just so it knows what it's expected to do for the meat <laughs> sure i will uh i will talk to her friend one more time all right so um austin i apologize i know you're very sleepy but um we are going to all take turns watching each other at night can you take the first shift Why did you not respond to me when I talked to you all day? Oh, I'm sorry. I had to use a specific, uh, I had to use magic to understand you because I am not an owlbear like you. Does just magic only work in morning and when sun goes down no it can work when i choose you but we choose, were mostly walking you choose and not I didn't to talk to me had... <laughs> what, what was that you choose talk not to... to talk to me i love talking to you i just didn't know you had something to say mm -hmm. so maybe next time just Maybe pat me on the shoulder gently. He sort of does like a, <laughs> <laughs> not not <laughs> like not, but like oh, you're like oh okay yeah. I will, and then I will listen to you. All right. Uh, what 
What are you watching for? Giants? Yes. Or other bad things. Hmm. Things that will attack. Avalanches. <laughs> Avalanches. <laughs> other owl bears. He sort of he looks around as all you guys are talking, but he just looks quizzically back at Sir Pen. Just bad things that will hurt us. Hmm. Hmm. Wolves. Wolves. You can eat them. I have. <laughs> I will again. <laughs> All right. So, who, so, so Lily's Lily's taking the first watch. Yeah. <laughs> with with Albert. Can, can you tell the Albert if he has any like spots on his back that he needs scratched? I'll scratch. Austin, last mm. question. Yes. Do you have any itch on your body? What is itch? Is there anywhere it feels good to rub on your body? Mm. Any area you can't reach? He looks at you almost quizzically. You wish to rub my body. Not me, but the lady over there. She wants to help you. Mm, um, not attracted. <laughs> no, no dice, Lily. You're gonna have to keep working, working him tomorrow. Agnes looks forlorn, or not Agnes, Lily. She looks forlorn. What's the Al Bear equivalent of not my type? Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he misunderstood what you meant. Yeah. Okay. We can try again. Uh, all right. <laughs> Amazing. So, Lily, you're up with the Al Bear? Sure, but I guess she's going to sit a little further away because he doesn't seem to like her. Reach for yeah, your dream. You can do it. I don't right. know what you can do. All right, the sun dips below the furthest peaks. Uh, you guys huddle up in your cloaks and warm things that you'd taken from the ship way back when, uh, and you proceed to sleep through the night. Um, Lily, when it comes time to switch the watch, um, how do you go about it? Uh, so I probably nudge who's ever next to me. Uh, and whoever's closest gets the next watch. Is that me? Uh, it's either you or who's that, Aridin in the middle? Who's in the middle? Is that Serpent? Uh, yeah, this is Aridin here. Oh, okay. And then Serpent's there, yeah. Okay. Uh, no. okay. Do you... I probably wake up Aridin first, then. Okay. Though he only needs what uh, four hours of sleep, right? Correct. So I don't know if he should get a full four hours or first. So maybe I'll I'll wake up Pen first. Okay. And then Pen can, I guess, um, tell the owl bear he can go to sleep. We use a spell slot every time I do that, right? I know, but <laughs> we're gonna have a full full rest, so yeah, you'll get it back. You'll get it back. Do you want to? You want to say something? Uh, yeah, um, dear Austin, I hope you enjoyed your time with Lily, <laughs> but mm. now you can sleep. Tired. <laughs> that sounded like a letter. How would you like to be awoken? <laughs> Yours truly, Sir Pet. <laughs> <laughs> Your pen pal. I love it. <laughs> All right. Austin goes to sleep. Lily goes to sleep. Uh, Sir Pen uh, passes the watch, and nothing out of the ordinary happens. You awake the next day. And there are dark clouds uh, gathering on the horizon. Um, 
when Aridin wakes up and, and or, or sees them. Hmm, I do not like the looks of those. Ah. Uh, perhaps we should seek shelter at a low point. I certainly don't want to be any tricky footing when that storm hits us. Come, friends, right. we'll, we'll go down. She'll only set us off a little bit, but we'll see. Uh, you guys wake up, pack up, eat something, and head down to a lower elevation as the storm clouds quickly approach. Uh, and you can sort of see a line uh, demarcated along the ground as <laughs> these sort of gale force winds hit you. Uh, and followed quickly by swirling snow as the visibility quickly drops uh, to near nothing mm. as the uh, wind comes and buffets your bodies as you're sort of... Um, Lily, you feel a, uh, a comforting but large boof, boof, sort of pat on your back as it like gathers you closer. <laughs> As the, as the owlbear um, proceeds to like sort of gather a few of you together to make sure you're all together as the wind and the snow takes the visibility down. Uh, and you don't even want to move at this point. I mean, even if you are roped together, it'd be pretty miserable. So you sort of all hunker in a circle as best you can, holding your cloaks up, peeking out every once in a while. Uh, Lily, you actually feel pretty warm, though, in, in being closest to the embrace of the owlbear. Uh, Yay! You, sort of, you hunker down for what feels uh, like a long time, but it's probably only realistically an hour or so. Uh, then the storm, uh, the brunt of it having passed over, um, you sort of dig yourselves out of the uh, few inches or so of snow that is sort of built up around your little huddle of people. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um, and as the sky brightens, you continue walking, but you did lose some time. Uh, could someone roll me a d20 for today, please? Sure. Vinay's got that. Rolling. Seven. Seven. Have we taken a long, a long rest yet? Yeah, we took it the oh, previous Yes, time. you yeah. have had the benefits of a long rest. Oh, right. Unless you cast Speak with Animals in the morning. But... Austin hasn't tapped you, so yeah, it's up to you kidding. whether you want to do. Now, do we need to go hunting? Like, how's our food supplies? Because I know that we have rations, but now we have an owlbear. You do. Um, he, uh, you get the feeling that he might have killed a rabbit yesterday at some point. Um, <laughs> he seems fine for now. Uh, you know, if you gave him a little bit of, uh, and you also have, well, I guess, did you have frost giant meat? Did you guys try to dress a frost giant? I think we tried to, mm -hmm. I, I'm like, sure we tried to do that because why would we let anything go to waste? Yeah, exactly. You're going to, you're going to carry as much as you can. I believe someone was tried to like live inside it or that night or something. Does that happen in my memory? Right? Yeah. Well, Yeti definitely. Could have happened. Frost giant, believe, maybe. Because how many Yetis? Um, we killed three Yetis, right? <laughs> we have one yeti onesie and we have a bunch of yeti blubber for lighting fires where we have yeah. no kindling yeah there, there, there's a trade-off of course of loading yourself down with too much but yeah i think you're fine in the food department um did you say a seven was that the role yeah, yeah. all right um you continue after the storm uh, making good progress although the storm slowed you down in the moment uh, and nothing else, just, you know, taking in, taking in the beautiful surroundings. It's pretty much just a normal day of travel. Good roll. Now, can we see where there's like a tree line or anything? Like, are we getting, can we see where we're heading? I like... can actually see the library rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> what does your elf eye see? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that's pretty good elf eyes. Um, <laughs> let me figure out how many days you've been walking. I'll get right back to you. Um, so you, so this hot yeti, benefits of long rest, ancient elvish magic to scratch his butt, okay, good, check, 
<laughs> All right, so the first day you hiked was DePaul. DePaul, so one day, two days, three days, four days. This is your fourth day. So at the end of this day, you'll have come like a little less, let's say, eh, say 43 miles. And your total distance you have to go. I, uh, the check here, now granted I ran into a little less wildlife uh, than when I'm with this larger group, but um, it took me, it took me a good 10, 12 days um, so I suspect we still have a ways to go, um, but we're making good time. We've gained some companion, or a companion. Um, don't lose faith. We're we're doing well. You'll be at your library. Welcome. Uh, the longer you stay in the cold, the more welcoming the 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 uh, the more welcoming the companionship of the elves of. Fuck no, will be. All right. Uh, so another night, another watch. Go ahead and give me another D twenty for the next day. All right, I'll do this one. Oh, and you know what day it is. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Thirteen. Here we go. Oh. Of course, what a number. It was that almost day. number one. It was almost a one. Which oh my gosh, might really? be better. <laughs> well, you never know. Let's but see. it is 13. Lucky 13. 13, huh? 13 on a dark morning. A dark morning that is fairly reasonable weather. Not, not too bad, not too bad, not too terrible. Oh, look at that. Um, a 13, you say. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want All right. Like a devious laugh. Um, you again do your morning routine, uh, and you continue on, Osted, a getting used to the the interesting lifestyle of this group of entities that it's found marching through the woods, or not through the woods, the mountains. Um, you continue along. Continue along. Um, you have your uh, your your noon meal. Um, continue along uh, into the evening. As the sun is setting, um, Austed goes whoomp and <laughs> a little more forcefully than the first time, even. Uh, into Sir Penn's back. Wait, All right. No. Austin. <laughs> Austin, what's happening? You cast a spell? Yeah. Wolves. Close. Prepare. <laughs> and with that, you Guys. hear the howlings of multiple oh. from... Oh, 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 from multiple places all around you. Uh, and I would like to have you all roll into initiative. Oh, boy. We are going to use, what are we going to use? There's Ew. too many of them to use that, so we're going to go with Ew. a little tried and true here. That's a ridiculous dice. <laughs> How do I want to do this? Let's see. Yeah, All right, let's I'm do this. 20. 17. 22. 20. Oh. Well, I should, probably should have asked after I had something to write it down with. <laughs> nice to have uh, Owlbear with us. <laughs> yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. All right, sorry, give me those numbers again. 17. 17. Uh, I'm 22. And Aaron's 20.
don't like rolling so high. What do you mean? You want to surprise. Is it? Yeah, you want to be the first to attack. I usually like waiting for someone else to attack, and then I come and attack uh, them all to engage. Yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. All right, Airden, you need to roll, and Austin needs to roll. Ooh, all right, all right. No surprise attack because of Austin. So that's pretty cool. That is good. Smelled him with his beak. Yes, I think so. Got a good hooter. Do owl bears like um, other beasts have like certain advantages on perception? Like, do they have like plus three perception or something? Um, they do. Let me read about that in a second. But yes, they do. All right, uh, Vinny, you're up first. You uh, are the wolves guess. here? Well, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, Lily's Is this on, Lily Lily, okay? Lily's on deck. All right, uh, perception check 22 for the yeah. Um It is dim light, but your keen elf eyes uh, do spy at least one a uh, little down the slope from you. Actually, how do you guys, you gotta have a moment. How would you like to arrange yourselves? The howls seem to be coming from all around, but what, what stances would you like to take in this moment before the battle? I think that probably um, like that a fighting circle where our backs are all to each other and we're facing outwards so that at least we could see everything from every direction or someone can see in a specific direction. Or, or we're all on top of Owlbear. <laughs> <laughs> he's, definitely, he's definitely taking a good... Uh... Stand up, buddy. I think there's a way he can like go on all fours, but I haven't figured it out yet. Looks like a gargoyle right now. I know, right? All right, so you guys sort of take a, a circle, circle out approach. Yeah. All right, Vinny. The one you spy is is just off the screen over here. Uh, okay, so it's not really. In melee range, right? It's just kind of definitely not in melee range. But if you had yeah. a ranged weapon, you could use it. I do. All right, and I guess this is the time to use it. I'm gonna use my short bow and shoot him. All uh, right. So I guess uh, we can take aim. Does a twenty-three hit? It certainly does. <laughs> Wolf, yeah. Nice. Okay, so that's one d six plus five. Seven damage. All right. Let's see, hold on a second. Let me get my wolves in order. My wolves! Whoa. Don't worry about that. <laughs> They're not all being used. <laughs> Just most of them. There's like two that won't be used. Yeah. <laughs> One of them's gonna be a backins. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, is that any other actions? I'm gonna use my bonus action to do shadow blade on my uh, my sword. I'm casting shadow blade. Shadow blade. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. Create a sort of solidified gloom in my hand. Solidified gloom. Yes. Gloom and doom. Mm. And then can I move? Absolutely. All right, I'm going to move behind uh, Owl Hooter Boy. Uh, what's, what are we calling him? Ostrich? No. Austin. Austin. You want to you move over here? <clears throat> like Austin. Uh, well, are there bear? Are there? I'm putting someone else between the wolves and myself. He's, a buffer. He's the biggest, right? If you want to... Where would you like to go? Uh, are we in a circle there? Yes. yes. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be in the center. You want to be in the center of the circle? Yeah. Of course. All right. Be like, I just got to tie my shoe real quick. 
Protect the egg. Yeah, let me just reload right. my uh, my bow. All right, Lily, you are up. What would you like to do? All right, uh, do I see a wolf in my direction? Yeah, yeah, you can you can see the the ones that you can physically see in the screen. Feel free to pin that if you want, uh, are the ones that you can see. Let's say that. Okay. All right, so. I guess I'm going to do one that I can see that's somewhat in between myself and Sir Pen. Okay. And I am going to, I'm going to have to cast a ranged attack. So let's do um, probably Firebolt. Okay. And sorry, uh, you do want to do this one or this one? Yes. Yeah. The, the one that you pointed to first. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so Firebolt, here comes the attack roll at some point. Here we go. Uh, does a 17 hit? Yes. Okay. And so the damage. Ooh, 16. 16 damage. Yep. All right. <laughs> oh man! Well, we'll see oh, how took him out. No, no, no! I'm just writing the number on it. Um, and then did not take him out. I don't think that I need to do anything else at this point because they're still far away. So I'll I'll wait for using all of my uh, bonus actions and stuff like that for when they're okay. closer. All right, sorry. Uh, Sir Pen, you are up. Aridin's on deck. All right, I'm also going to use my Firebolt um, on the guy on the top left. Okay. So, does a 18 hit? Yes. I guess it does. Wait, does it, right? It does, yes. And the damage is 11. Okay. And I don't really have any. I could do a bonus. Wait, I could do a bonus action, right? No. Always. Uh, yes, you can. Yeah, there's really nothing, nothing useful here. So I, uh, I'm good. All right, Aridin whips at his long bow and sees where you guys have been firing. Actually, no, he sees he's over here. So he sees the one that that's going to hit. That is going to hit. Plus 12, 21 damage. How much do you right. um, And that's for a different wolf altogether? Yeah. Well, that was the first wolf that Vinny had. Oh, the, that was Vinny's. Okay. 21. Um, Austin is now up. Austin, Austin, where's Austin? Here's Austin. Oh yeah, multi-attack, baby. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Austin doesn't really understand the circle, so Austin's gonna go over here. <laughs> <laughs> and, whoa, that's hit. Does that hit? No. Uh, Austin's going to do 10 damage as his beak rips into this wolf's side. 
Heck yeah. Uh, Alright, Drum. What are you doing, buddy? Okay, so I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to twin it. Okay. So, an orb at each of those suckers. And... Sorry, I just want to remind myself how many points. Yeah, so I'm going to cast it at second level. Um, and... See what happens. It would be, uh, let's say, poison damage or acid damage. Let's do acid damage. Okay. And anything but cold is probably the right choice. Right. <laughs> um, how do I cast this thing? Uh, what? Hit DC of seven plus seven. Okay, yeah, one sec. So 20 and 22. 20 and 22 both hit. Great. Uh, so then I roll. So first uh, first roll for damage will be to the, the 16 guy. OK. And that's 20 damage. Nice. That looks bloodied. And the next guy is 18 damage. Okay. And then as a bonus action, I'm going to generate my echo. Uh, basically, the, the I'm going to put him, let's say, 10 feet ahead of me or 15 feet ahead of me um, such that the wolves will likely pass him on the, or possibly attack him, but pass him on the way to us. Okay, uh, toward these wounded wolves? Yeah. Okay. You said five, 10, 15, how many? I'd say, yeah, 10, 15, somewhere around there. All right. Cool. All right, uh, wolves. Uh oh. So wolves. All right. Um. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> This wolf runs up here. <laughs> um, and these are these are pretty big. These are these are large. They're not quite as big as your owlbear, but they're large. Are they uh, dire? These are winter wolves. Winter, okay. Um, so similar, similar to dire. The Arctic dwelling winter wolf is as large as a dire wolf, but has snow white fur and pale blue eyes. Ooh. Frost giants use these evil creatures as guards and hunting companions. Mm. All right, uh, it opens its mouth, and believe it or not, uh, exhales a blast of freezing wind in a 15-foot cone, which hold, hits all of you guys who are gathered there in the center. Um, so I would like you to all make DC 12 dexterity saving throws. Eleven. I'm going to use my reaction, okay. if I can, to absorb elements. I'm doing this. I love it. I love it. Totally fine. And I think I'm going to do it at a level two. I feel like that's going to be. Oh, I can do that too. Oh, look at that. And then I roll to see how much I absorb. Well, or do I? Which one do I roll for first? Well, um. I mean, if you want to do the dexterity save okay. before you decide to use it, that's fine with me. It's up to you. All right. Well, dex save. 
I got an 18 in my deck save. Yeah, I only got an 8, so I'm definitely going to need this. All right. And then Sir Pen, what was your deck save? Well. Oh, really? Come on. Dare I ask? Two. Not a good roll. One and one. <laughs> <laughs> what a weight of a spell slot. Brutal. Uh, okay, so... Uh, Agnes and yep, Lily. <laughs> Lily and Drom are going to take uh, 18 uh, cold damage. Do I take less two? Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. 18 less two. I'm, so you take... I'm resistant, so I take nine. You take nine. Uh, Sir Pen, you're resistant. I'm resistant to cold as well. So you will take... Uh, four. It's half of 18 and half of that. So half of nine is four. And then Vinny, you will take nine. Okay, I did. Aaron um, will take 18. I also have absorb elements. I did the dex say, but can I also do absorb elements? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, I was just going to do level one because I'm a cheapo. Sure. Or. You said four? Yes, I think I just so absorb. You'll take five. 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 Can do. And you'll absorb four for whatever that does. Makes okay. me cold. That now, is... Does absorb elements work for more than one turn? Like once you have it on, will it last for like a minute or? Oh, you mean what, what, you can do whatever, what does it say it lasts for? One round. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. yeah. Getting good. That's not gonna help okay so these two wolves are they distracted by this thing uh this one tries to attack it this one passes by what happens when it tries to attack it it tries to attack it um it should attack try to attack it as if it's a person okay um it is an 11 to hit i don't think that does it but one one sec uh AC 18. That does not hit. I mean, he only uh, has like one hit point, right? <laughs> um, wow, these guys are not rolling great. 11 to hit Sir Pen, I assume does not hit. Um, because my, wait, it's based on my armor class? Yeah. Oh yeah. 16, yeah. Um, Osted is surrounded by four wolves. And they're going to go to town on him. What is Austin Dan armor class? Hold on one second, sorry. So that's a hit. That's a hit. That is... What is it again? That's not a hit, but he has pack tactics. That's a miss. And then that's a hit. Okay, so three of them... Attack successfully. Austin takes 33. Can you keep track of Austin's hit points sure. for me? Sure. Austin takes 33 as three of the dire wolves rip into him. Um, this guy is going to come up and attack Aridin. That is a miss. And these two are going to come attack Drom. Oh. And that is a 17. Does not hit. Wow. Wow, that's really terrible. Wow, even with pack tactics, these guys are not hitting you. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Um, that's the wolf's turn. Vinny, you're up. Lily's on deck. All right. I'm going to peek around Drom and... And sneak up on the one that's to his right, uh, and I'm gonna attack that one. This so, one. Uh, no, the one one more above that. Oh, close right, to, right. Close to the yeah. Oh, one, the yeah. other right. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not you. Know, you're. I was wrong. You're right. So I'm, you were uh, correct. Uh, I'm gonna jump out from behind him and sneak attack. All right. So, are you gonna do that thing like uh, in? Big Trouble Little China, where he jumps and he's like, ha! ha. 
But everyone's already dead. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, so I'm going to do, I guess I'll, I'll hit with my short sword first or see if I can. All right. Uh, 23. Is that hit? Yes. All right. So then that's my uh, shadow blade. So I'm going to. Oh, shadow blade. Yes. Yes. All right. So that, let's see what that hits for. One and one, great. So that's two damage. So that was pretty good. Two d eight, excellent. That's what my essentially right. my absorbed so elements were. Two damage for that. Um, and then I'm gonna do my uh, my dagger. That's I can't get much worse. That's a nat one, which I had plus nine, so that's a ten. Does a ten hit? A ten does not hit. All right, but I can still do my sneak attack. Uh, damage, add that to my, my short sword hit that did hit right. Yes. So that is 19. So 19 plus 2? Yes, so 21 damage. 21 damage. Okay. All right. Uh... So that was... And that wait, what did the what is what is your what does your funky blade get you? Oh, it adds. Uh, where is it? It it ups the attack value to two d eight instead of one d six plus five. Got it. Oh, did you add the plus five? So it should be two no, no, plus five, it's right? Two, it's, it changes it to two d eight. I know, but it should also be plus five. So you rolled two. Wow. It wow. should add five. Well, it didn't. I assume if it didn't add five, that it's correct. Well, don't assume that. No. Uh, sorry. So, re sorry. Read the spell one more time. Well, so my Aaron's saying that my actual short sword hits for one d six plus five, and yeah. then the spell uh, she thinks it's just a replacement for the one d six, but that I should add five no matter what I'm hitting for. Uh, what does the spell say? Uh, let's see. 2d8 damage. Uh, you weave together threads to blah blah blah. This magic sword lets last till the spell ends. Counts as a simple melee weapon with which you are proficient. It deals 2d8 psychic damage on a hit and has finesse blah 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 blah. Wait, is it a new sword? No, it's, it's, it's I'm like it's enchanting my sword. Yeah. So it should be psychic damage on top of the regular piercing yeah. damage or slashing yeah. damage. Yeah, I would so agree with that. So you be rolling the 1d6 plus 5. I should still do that? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Oh, okay. All right. But it replaced it. Oh, so that's 10 more damage then. All right, hold on. What's the name of this spell? Uh, Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade! Two words. Lily, you're on deck. Uh, Shadow Blade, two words. Solid, solid name. Flame blade, not to be confused with flame blade or sun blade mm. or mind blade. There it is, shadow blade. Yeah, I think it does. I think it does replace it. Now it replaces it. Because that's a terrible replacement. 2d8? Well, but. The other one is 1d6 plus 5. You're guaranteed at least 6. Whereas 2d8, maybe you get 16. Maybe you get 2. She's not right. She's not wrong. She's not right. Not wrong. Well, I guess there's other advantages. If I throw it, I can get it back in my hand. But I never throw it. Uh. Yeah, that's true. And it does increase in damage with the spell slot you used, but you didn't cast it. I only have a level two. <laughs> oh, okay. Fine. All right, then. So, yeah, so uh, I think it is what it is. The there ten. it is. All right. Erase the 10. I never wrote the 10, so we're good. Oh, all right. I'm erasing it. Okay, you erase it. All right, perfect. Uh, sneak attack. Sneak attack's good. All right, that was that turn. Um, Lily, what are you doing? All right. Are you, so are, sorry, are you moving somewhere? Uh, if I move, I get an attack of opportunity, right? Or can I slink back behind Drom? Were you talking to me? Yes. Okay. Sorry, yeah. I was talking to you, but you, you said you used your second attack, so you, that means you used your bonus action, so you cannot disengage. 
Right, but I did use it as I was moving backwards. <laughs> mm, nope. Okay. All right, Lily, what are you doing? All right, so I think that there's the one that has, what, 29 on it within melee range? Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm going to go and do my attack actions. So I'm going to have a few of these. All right, yeah, so coming are. in with my, uh, my dagger first. Yep. Uh, 17 hits, right? Oh, yeah. All right. And here is the damage. Uh, seven. Okay. And then, oh, I don't even know which one that is. I'll just count them up later. Okay. And then coming in with my scimitar. There's my scimitar. I'm guessing an eight does not hit. An eight does not hit. Okay, um, but because I took an attack action, I'm allowed to attack again, right? Yep. So coming in with my dagger again. Does a fifteen hit? Or no, I'm sorry, a ten hit? Or no, okay, eighteen. Eighteen. Ugh. Fifteen yes. and eighteen both hit. Okay, all right, it's it's an 18, so Dagger does another eight. So that's a total of 15. Yep. And I should be able to attack one more time because I'm dueling it, right? Is that uh, how Well. Or is it just one extra? So you, you if, uh... It says attacks per turn two? Yes. And then you're using a bonus action to do a third attack. So here it says extra attack special. You can attack three times whenever you take the attack action on your turn. Oh. Then, yeah, you could attack four times total. Okay, so... Does, Once does, with it my say, dagger. does it say uh, under under actions, does it say attacks per action? Let me see. Um, it sounds like it's three plus one. Yeah. Right, because my first one, I would be using the dual weapon, so that's why I get two. And then I get a second action, which would just be one, and a third action, which would just be one. Yes, no. I can't remember this. <laughs> I think it's I think it's the attack action gets you three attacks, you said, right? Right. And then your two weapon fighting gets you another attack if you use your bonus action for it. Right. So a total of four and you've done three. Okay. So then I might as well come in with my scimitar again. Okay, and that is 19. That hits. And so that far, is 7. So, 15, so 22 total, total. 22 total for the wolf that had 29 on it. 51 total damage. 22 plus 29. Seems like yep. 51. I think that's 51. 51 yeah. Yep. Boom. All right. Nice. Lily jumps in with a flurry of attacks. Uh, all right. Uh, Sir Pen, you are up. Aridin is on deck. I think it's time to use my my uh, ring of shooting stars. Ooh. Well, yeah. I'm like shooting wolves. Yeah. So I'm going to shoot three charges of shooting stars. One of them I'm going to put in between... Uh, the the 15 and the guy next to me so it doesn't hit lily or anybody so it would be kind of like up in the left okay um and how so remind me how this ring works yeah so for every charge you expend you launch a glowing mode of light from the ring at a point you can see within 60 feet of you each creature within a 15 foot cube originating from the point is showered in sparks and must make a dc 15 dexterity saving throw 
or taking 5d4 damage on a failed save half as much on a successful. So basically okay. just put it in a way that these Gets two guys... Got it. Okay, yeah, totally doable. Okay. But I'm going to do three of them. So I'm going to do one for those two. Okay. I'm going to send one over to the area where the 12 is. So get those two guys. Okay. And then I'm going to do one on the bottom right that's going to get that the 28 and the other empty one. I yeah. love it. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to use three charges. So oh, yeah, do, you are. So, yeah, so you'll have to see if they have a... Do they take a DC 15? DC 15. All right, we're going to we're gonna work our way around clockwise, or, yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, counterclockwise. So we'll do this guy first. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a 15 exactly. And you said it's dexterity? Yeah. All right, so he got a 16, so he definitely does. Another 15, 19, 19. At least these aren't attack rolls. Um, wow. 18 and 19. Holy nuts. They all pass, man. Sorry. They all get half, though. It's half the same. They'll all get half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to do my... Uh, so I'm going to do 5d4 for all six of them. If you want... Well, decide now. If you want to roll it three times... For the three attacks, I'm fine with that. If you also just want to roll it once, I'm fine with that. Your choice. But you got to decide before you roll. I'll do three. Yeah. Why not? Okay. Love it. But it's still three five d fours, right? Correct. Yeah. You would you would do five d four once. Tell me that number five d four twice. Tell me that number five d four. Yeah. Okay. So the first five d four is. Is a nine. All right, so these guys take four. So then the next five v four is also a nine. Make those nines. And then the last one, twelve. All right. So nine plus nine plus twelve. So that's fifteen damage. Nine plus nine plus twelve. Wait, what? Hold on. That's three different, three oh, different groups, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Each one's half. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this not the one I was using before. What's going on? Here? My marker stopped being so good. <laughs> Why is that? That's so weird. Twelve. I can't believe they all passed. That's crazy. Um, well, you weren't really rotating your throw. <laughs> uh, Thirty-four. All right. Lighting up the sunset or the you know the dim twilight hour. <laughs> shooting stars fire out of. Sir Penn's ring. All right. Um, Aridin, who is engaged. Well, this guy actually wasn't. So Aridin's going to do, what's he going to do? He's going to, yeah, the guy who shot the breath at him, he's not too happy. So he's going to do two arrows into his face. Oh, no, a nat one? Are you kidding me? That's not gonna hit. All right, that's fine. Shake it off, Aridin. Yeah, make up for it with that. Boom, 10 damage. That, and then he's gonna go attack the guy who's in melee range with his sax knife. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Two nat ones. <laughs> are you gonna cast some spells? What are you doing? Are you gonna, are you gonna, are you doing? You doing? Are you doing? What are you doing there, buddy? You know I mean? Gosh, what is he gonna do? <sighs> All right, well there it is. There it is. Um. All right. Um. Off.
Frosted is not happy. Frosted is quite surrounded. But he's going to soldier on. And continue attacking the one he was attacking before. That's going to hit. That is going to miss. Oh, barely, but it's going to miss. So he does another 10 damage to this one. Drum, you are up. Wolves are okay, so I am going to let's see if I get this right. I'm going to fireball uh, a bunch of wolves. What? Nothing. Uh, I'm gonna unleash incarnation. So oh, all right. Whenever I take the attack action, I can make one additional melee attack from the echo's position. Okay. Um. And uh. Uh, yeah, so I will. Um, my my actual drone will attack the the twenty five doohickey dude um, there, and I'm going to attack him with my uh, short sword. So it's eighteen hit. Yes. Great. Second attack. Uh. 18 again. That hits. <laughs> Great. So he gets 8 plus 10 damage. 18 damage. You like 18. 18 plus 25 is 43. Okay. And then the Unleashed Incarnation component of it is... Um, Gonna do a melee attack from the Echo's position, so I would guess that would be short sword as well. Okay. Uh, sixteen to hit. That hits. Great, and that's ten damage. All right. Anything else for this guy? All right. Then I'm going to action surge. So we're going to do it all again. Yeah, we are. <laughs> all right. So uh, we'll attack drum, real drum. We'll attack the 43 okay. dude. Uh, 23 to hit and 14 to hit. Those both hit. Great. Great. So 11 damage plus 10, 21 damage. Still up, but barely. Why is that Maybe it's the oil from my skin. Maybe I should be using a cloth to wipe them off instead of my thumb. All right. Now that was so. So when you action surge, you get another action. You don't get another bonus action. Oh no, I'm not using a, a bonus action for this though. The unleash incarnation is separate. Amazing. Keep going. Cool. Uh, I can only use it two times, though, so here we go. Okay. Um, per, uh, per rest, at least. So it's a 21 to hit. That hits. And 12 damage. 58. Wow. Okay. All right, Drum goes to town. His Echo doing the same. Anything else? That's a good question. Um, that's a really good question. I... Mm, no, no, I'm okay. All right. Did you guys do whatever you were supposed to do with that cold damage that you saved up? Was that just oh. was that just limiting the amount of damage you took, or was that also rebounding? No, you were supposed to use it on your attack, and I forgot. Okay. Right. 
Alright, wolves are attacking. Wolves are attacking. Alright, uh, we're gonna do Astrid first. We're gonna do Astrid first. Okay. What is my target? Doesn't realize he's a bit of resistance to cover on your turn. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, duh. Oh, well, never mind. You want what? You want to do something? Uh, may I? Yes. I realize I could do a bonus action. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Um, thank you. Uh,. Um, Aaron, Astra takes 44, I think. 44, so he's up to 77. Astra is down. Oh no! Mm -hmm. It's an interesting question. I'm gonna do the wolf attacks against Aridin because that does not involve you. Oh, sorry, I, a quick question. Yes. I may have answered it. So if a... Uh, so meta magic can be used... Um, I have quickens. I have quicken meta magic. So I cast a spell Ooh. that I have a casting time of one action. I can spend two sorcery points to change the casting time to one bonus action. So it seems like I ought to be able to use that. Can I use that on a cantrip or only on like a leveled spell? Uh, wait, so you want to, so sorry, say it again. So you, you did, you did a bunch of attacks, so you're mm -hmm. good to cast a cantrip or a level spell, but what do you want to do to it? Well, what I, I basically don't have any spells that I can use as a bonus action, but what I do have is meta magic where right. I can quicken it to use it as, a bonus uh, action. to make a, a, spell that has a casting time of one action yeah only take one bonus action yeah that's so, great okay what so are you, what are you quickening spend... i am going what to you quicken quickening? i'm going to quicken green flame blade i'm going to hit the 64 doohickey 64 doohickey not sure. What yeah, the guy—the guy, the guy that's oh, barely yeah. standing in front of me. Right. Okay. And I'm going to make a melee attack. Okay. With the short sword. So, is that presumably? Well. The uh, the, sorry. Sorry. So, if the bonus action is to cast, green flame blade. Is that like the other sword that Vinny made? Like, is that? Is that an attack or is it just making the sword? No, no, it's attacking with the sword. It's a, it's using the sword to make a magical attack. All right. It does count as. Go ahead. No, no. I mean, yeah, I mean, if, yeah, I mean, if it's a normally a, an action and then you're doing it as a bonus action. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Um. So yeah, casting time one action. Uh, I brandish the weapon using the spell's casting and make a melee attack with against one creature within five feet. Uh, so presumably it's the same role as the weapon would be, or? Yes. Okay, so it's the short sword. Uh, 26 to hit. Definitely hits. On a hit, the target suffers the weapon's normal effects, and I can cause green fire to leap from that target to a different creature of your choice so you can see within five feet of it. Nice. So, so the fourth. Um, and the second creature takes damage equal to your spell casting ability modifier. Now, that begs the question, what is my spell caster ability modifier? <laughs> I 
does beg that question. <laughs> Two. Hmm. Is it three? Under note, yeah, I don't know. It would be it would be on your on your, on your spells page. Yeah, because the spell eight plus three. three. Yeah. It's not the spell attack. It's not the save. It's the modifier. So confused. Plus three. Plus three sounds reasonable. Okay. It's probably it's probably the number. So the second one would take three. Okay. And then how much does the first one take? Oh wait 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 sorry um. The spell's damage increases when you reach certain levels. At fifth level, the melee attack deals an extra 1d8 damage, fire damage to the target on the hit, and the fire damage to the second creature, uh, and then it increases at 11th level. So this makes more sense to what I'm actually seeing in in uh, in D&D Beyond. Thank you guys for bearing with us. Um, okay, so the damage to the first doohickey would be 8 plus 2d8, although... I don't know if I even need that. 8 plus 2d8, it's dead. Okay, nice. So then, so then the damage to the second doohickey is 2d8 plus 3. So is that 4? Yeah. 1. one oh, two ones. Thanks. Uh, 5. <laughs> you guys have been getting a lot of double ones on these damage yeah. rolls. <laughs> yeah. You might want to rethink that strategy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the wolves continue their attacks. Um, coming at the hologram with a sixteen. I'm not gonna hit. No. Oh. Oh. No. 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 Sorry. That is an eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Yeah. It does ten, eleven, eleven damage. Eleven damage to your echo. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't have an echo anymore. The echo's dead to me. And to the corporal right. world. These guys are coming in for a little serpent, a little lily action. That is a. Oh, actually, I get pack tactics. That's an 11. That's a 17 to hit serpent. 17? 17? 17? Yeah, I, yeah, I have a 16 on the All right, take 11 bite damage. And Lily is 18 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Take 11 piercing damage. They're both piercing. I don't know why I said bite. It's from a bite. They bite you. They are biting you. It's not <laughs> fun. You get taking damage. And then the last one is going after Drum. He does not get pack tactics because no one's near him. But he still has a 20 to hit, which is pretty darn good. So I think you're going to take 11 piercing as well, Drom. Okay. All right. And with that, we're back to Vinny. Lily is on deck. All right. I'm going to surprise the heck out of that wolf that killed um, the Echo. Okay. Uh, so I'm How are go. you doing that? Sorry. Uh, it... It was biting the echo and was busy and it was like, where did it go? And then I'm going to appear out of nowhere and be like, guess what, sucker? <laughs> I don't think so. I think you need advantage to get your surprise attack, right? Okay, I'm going to ignore that wolf. Uh, surprisingly, also a surprise, and I'm going to attack the one that's in front of Drum as a different surprise. That sounds like a better surprise. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Very liberal with the surprises Very, there, it's DM. A surprising fight here. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try him with my short sword. <laughs> does 27 hit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. All right. So, oh, yeah, it does. Uh, big fat seven damage. And then I'm going to add in my sneak attack damage, which is 14. So 21 total there. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, and then I'm going to hit him with my dagger. If I can. Uh, 25 to hit. Yes. And I'm going to take a swing, wind up my Popeye arms, and hit him for seven. All right, so what was the total damage? Sorry. Total 28. 
Yeah, 21 and 7 is 28. Mm -hmm. 28 plus 9, 9. is 37. Yep. Yes. Plus I glare harshly, so a couple points of glare damage. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're not a Yeti. <laughs> well, I try my best. Not Yeti. Oh. <laughs> not Yeti, you're not. <laughs> Ter terrible. <laughs> but necessary. Yeah. I swear, I don't understand these things. All right. Uh, Lily, what you doing, Lily? All right, so it looks like, um, is that 60 in front of me or 66 or something next to me and 99. Oh, 99. Okay. No, it was... it's not 99. It's, it is 60. It is 60. It is 60. BB. Okay. All right. So that's, I guess, the one I'll go after. I mean, the wolves, can I glance over my shoulder and look to see what the wolves that are by... Um, Austin is doing or yeah. are doing. They like, are, are they attacking him still. No, or... they're gonna they're gonna come for you. Oh, okay, all right. So I probably want to get rid of the ones that are already by me. Probably. So, right. Okay. So then I'm going to be using my um, my typical melee attacks. So here comes my daggers. A 16, so that should hit. Sorry, what is it? Oh, it was 16 to hit. That and, hits. Right, and uh, 8 damage. 8 damage, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, then I'm coming in with my scimitar. Which is 25 to hit. That hits. Yep. And um, so here's the thing. I think I've been doing this wrong. On my dual weapon fighting, my second hit does not get a modifier. So mm. it should just be two points for this then. Okay, so six plus two. Yeah. So eight total. Yes. The previous one was eight or or uh, six or seven. Six. Oh, it was it was eight, and now it's plus two. Okay. So a total of ten. And then yeah. I'm gonna do. Sorry, ten. Total ten was, so far. Ten total so far. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then doing my dagger again for my second attack. And 15 to hit. 15 hits. Ooh, yeah. 10 points it's of down. damage. Dead. Down. Nice, good one. So then can I, um, am I close enough to the one that's four? Yes, absolutely. Um, okay. So then I'm just going to, I guess, move a little closer and take my third attack on that one with my, can I reuse my dagger? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna use my dagger again. Um, 20, but not natural. All right. And 10 damage. All right. Nice. So that's 14 now? Yep. That one? Okay. Each blade flashing, flashing quicker than the next, or the last rather. Uh, Lily dispatches one winter wolf and starts on another. All right, Sir Pen, you are up, my friend. Time to... Uh... Use the trident. On oh yeah, that, uh, oh yeah, on that guy. Get some, so here it comes. Pump, pump those divine smites, baby. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> oh, a one. Does an eight hit? An eight does not hit. Wait. But you have inspiration. 
Yes. You I do inspiration. have inspiration. I'm, yeah, you want to use it. Good All thing. right. So what does that mean? I get to use it again? I get to do you it again? roll again. Yep. And I lose my inspiration? Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Does a 25 hit? Oh, yeah. That was worth That's it. That's a pretty good roll. Solid All right. Roll. Here it comes. Here it comes. Damage four. Now, are you going to pump some Divine Smites into it? Yes. Oh. Uh, what level was I going to do? I'm going to put uh, a third level. Okay. Wait, so... what, do I, what do I do that again? Totally forgot. See, this Oh, actions. We have base damage four. And then oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Impro based on... The improve, are you talking about the improved Divine Smite? You're well, so improved Divine Smite is improving your Divine Smite. But so, I, I, where's my spell slot for Divine Smite? Let's see here. I only have Searing Smite. I think we've gone over this. I think it's Searing Smite. Uh, it's entirely possible mm -hmm. that I'm using... No, no, no it's Divine a special. Divine Smite's on your action, the action tab. It's called a special. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It might be like a limited use one. Or an other. Oh yeah, yeah. When you hit with a melee, you can expend one spell slot to deal two d8 damage to target. Plus <laughs> one d8 for each spell level higher than one. So All right, so I'm gonna use a level. So I'm gonna use level two. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a level two. So it'll okay. be three d8. All right, so I'm gonna do three d8. D and D. And that should be 16 damage. Hey. And I think you get, so your improved Divine Smite, whenever you hit with a melee attack, the target takes an extra 1d8 radiant damage. So 16 plus another d8. Oh, yeah. So 16 plus the 4, that's up to 20, and then one more d8. Two. All right. So 22 plus 14 is 36. That nice. was really good. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, he's still alive. Yeah, well, that's we just started on him. Yeah, but he's sorry. He knows he's a bad doggy. Mm -hmm. That's what they get for all right. Our poor bear wolf. I mean, our Aridin. Aridin is going to cast a spell. Um. And he sort of. Uh, takes a small step back, weaves his hand together, and goes like this, and um, eight black panthers appear and start attacking the wolves. Mm -hmm. Uh, Sean, would it be possible to have Lily uh, ever so angled so her back is not to the other wolf? <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, come on, I don't have enough green. Ugh, fine. Use blue. Yeah, I guess so. Let's get these. Two special blue panthers. Um, all right. And now I've made myself a real mess, but we need some people to soak things up. Oh, actually, I roll initiative for them. Fascinating. They go Rat Hash Aridin. That's awesome. Um, uh, which would be now. Oh my gosh, so there's a bunch of panther on wolf action going on here. <laughs> you want us to do some rolling for you? Um, I don't know. Let's see here. We're going to do this broadly. Because they have pack tactics as well. That'll hit, that'll hit. And that gets another. So all four of those will hit. Ooh, that might not hit. Um, let me just look up a panther real quick. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many animals on this 
field. What have I done? I regret my decisions. <laughs> um, I regret nothing. Oh man, they don't have my tactics. Terrible. All right, whatever. These panthers are gonna have my tactics. Um, mumble, mumble, mumble. Um, plus four. So that one's not gonna hit. That's fine. What about you guys? Oh, that's not gonna hit. And that's not gonna hit. Okay, fine. Those two hit. Uh, they tend to the sky. All right. All right. Amazing. Okay. All right, Austin is going to make a death saving throw, which it, he passes. Yay! Now, could um, Pen do something for that on a turn? Does that work for owl bears, or is that only for humans? I'm going to say that you can heal an unconscious owl bear. Okay. He's and he, he's going to do death saves. Uh, I think technically, but whatever. I'm the DM. I can do whatever I want. Uh, <laughs> he's not part of our group. Exactly. Uh, Drom, you are up. I'm what? You are up. Sorry. Up. Oh, okay, sir. Uh, cool. So <laughs> then I'm going to use my bonus action first. Um, and I'm going to cast my echo um, by the 58 guy, like a little behind him, so he doesn't see the echo. <laughs> All right. Um, and then I am going to attack the doohickey next to me. What is he, 37? Yes. Okay. Um, I am just going to uh, sling at him with my short sword. Okay. So I get two attacks. So 22 and 24. Hit. Hit. So then damage will be 9 plus 9. 18. Really do like 18. <laughs> uh, 55. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay. Which brings us to the wolves. That is a 55, if I forget later. Um, the wolves are going to make a decision. Seeing eight more panthers join the fray. The wolves are going to start to retreat. Though they have... Why are they going to abandon their kill? Yeah, I think they are. With that roll, they're definitely going to do that. All right. Because there's one, two. Yeah, no, I think that makes sense. You guys have killed. How many you killed? You killed three? Four? Uh, definitely two. <laughs> I, I started erasing them. Yeah, sorry. So, we had 11 up, I think, at one time. So how many do we have up now? There were some I couldn't see, so I'm not sure. Yeah, if there was no, I think, I, think you've, I think you've killed... I think you've killed four. Okay. Is that true? I don't know how many were there. One, two, three, four... Well, 
Who killed yeah. one? I killed one. I killed one. Drom killed one. Did Aerodin kill one? I think Aerodin killed one. Yes, I believe that's true. So at least three. Yeah, at least three. Well. Yeah. Mm, yeah. No, I think they're going to go. Well. It's a lot more Panthers, though. <laughs> I think they're going to retreat. I think they're going to retreat. Because they're definitely outnumbered now. And they don't know enough to know that the Panthers are not that bad. So they're going to retreat and they're going to take attacks of opportunities from these four Panthers. <laughs> That's gonna be a miss. That's gonna be a miss. That's gonna be a hit. And that is cocked, but it's gonna, know, it's gonna be a hit. All right, so as they're running, this guy's gonna take five. He's at 21. And 49. Yeah, because it's not like they're undamaged. Uh, this guy's gonna run away. You guys get a tax of opportunity, Drom and Vinny, if you still have your reactions. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I guess I do. Um, yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, we can just let him go. Unless there might be a problem later. Up to you. Uh, we could have wolf meat. I yeah. mean, we'll already have right. three. I'm just going to swipe at mine. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's a crit. Oh, Matt. Oh, my God. That was a fat dragon. Okay, that was my dice roll. The dragon showed up. So that was a nat, nat 20 plus 9, so 29 to hit. All right, so... so uh, you can Look either, it highlights it. You can cool. either roll twice as many dice, or you can roll and double it, but you have to decide before you roll. I'm going to roll and double it. All right. All right. And then you still add on whatever you normally add on. So I've got a 10 plus, plus 10. Well, you no, know, you, you don't get your modifier on the second one. So you get a 10 plus 5. So I got 10 plus 5. 15. It is still technically up. I glare at it. it. It runs tail between its legs as you swing and get no more. That's right. You're a bad dog. Aww. Uh, is the echo? No, I don't think the echo gets a attack of opportunity. Uh, but Lily and Sir Pen. But he doesn't take it. Okay. Uh, Lily and Sir Pen. Um. That one has like what fifty something? Oh my god! What did I write? Thirty six. Fifty six. I think it's a thirty six. Oh, thirty six. Uh, yes, thirty six. Okay, then. Um, no, yeah, we don't, or I don't. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Sir Pen, you taking an attack of opportunity? Which one is so the the thirty? What about these green ones? Those are those are the those panthers. Are good guys. Those are the those panthers. Are good those guys. are good guys. Yeah. So we just have the one yellow guy on the left. That's it. Well, the the question now is the wolves are retreating. Yeah. Do you want to take a swipe at the one that's been that's taken thirty six damage? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. I'm gonna firebolt them. Well, you can't firebolt. This is you can melee. unless you have a feat that allows you to do that, but. This is just melee. It would be a swing of the Wait, tribe. where is he? Sorry, I moved him away. He, he was right next oh, to you. Got it, Sorry. got it. Okay, I will try to end him. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> does a 21 hit. Sure does. And we are going to six damage. All right, bring it to a total of 42. You saw poke it in the butt as it's running away. All right. And then, um, and then I get my bonus action, which is another. Well, this is this is a reaction to it running away. Oh. So this is just a reaction. So you can't. I don't think you can. You can't even. Uh, uh, I don't think you can pump a smite into it. Uh, so they're running away. Ostrich is down. The uh, the panthers. Aridin's gonna sort of circle you guys with some panthers. Just in case. Lily 
is going to run over to uh, Ostrid and be like, and help him! All right. What are you going to do, Pen? I guess I'm helping him. <laughs> I'll uh, use my lay on hands. Oh, yeah. Lay on hands. And actually. I'll give him about uh, 20. All right. Gets back up. Ugh. <laughs> 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 He sees the panthers, and he's like, Oh, I'm sorry, they have a weird smell, don't they? They're fey creatures, actually. And the panthers disappear. <laughs> Ostrid looks very perplexed. Sort of turns to you, Lily, with a questioning glance. Sir Pen, <laughs> you're near him, so he, like, pats you on the back, Sir Pen. <laughs> I'm sure. Speak with animals. Um... <sighs> Where the wolves? What happened? They attacked us, and and you were very brave, but you had to fight four of them at the same time. Yeah. You, you, succ you succumbed to the injuries. How? But I saved you. I owe you my life. I'll take your friendship. Now do we watch? And I think with that, we will end tonight's session. Um, yes, that was awesome. Two mm -hmm. unexpected things. Um, Alvar, a friend, and an avalanche caused by a snow fight. Um, thank you all for playing. Let's stop that battle music. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you next time on BND Live, when I think we may actually get to the library. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> my computer so mad at me what are you mm -hmm. complaining about computer right. very Bye -bye. nice to be involved there sir Pen